Hi friends, my name is Rohan Varachandra. Bajaj Finance stock price crash, is it time to buy? Bajaj Finance shares crashed by around 7% today even though overall markets were only marginally lower. The reason for such a huge fall was because Bajaj Finance announced its business figures yesterday evening. Some of the figures were below analysts expectations and hence the fall in stock price. The complete quarterly results of Bajaj Finance will be announced on 27 January 2023. Before the official quarterly results are announced, some companies announce certain business figures for the benefit of investors. I am presenting the business figures. New loans booked as on December 2021, 74 lakhs. As on December 2022, 78 lakhs, so 5.4% rise. Total customers as on December 2021, 5.54 crores and as on December 2022, 6.6 .6 crores, 19.1% rise. For the quarter October to December 2022, Bajaj Finance reported its highest ever quarterly increase in customers of 31 lakhs. So just 3 months, it got 31 lakh new customers. Deposits as on December 2021, 30,481 crores and December 2022, 43,000 crores, 41% rise. Assets under management 1,81,250 crores and this time 2,30,850 crores, 27.4% rise. For the quarter October to December 2022, the AUM went up by 5.7% compared to July to September 2022. This was below expectations. What analysts feel is this 5.7% is actually not enough for quarter to quarter increase because usually Bajaj Finance growth is much higher. I am giving the quarterly financials for the last 4 quarters, October to December 2021, total income 8,533 crores, January to March 2022, 8,627 crores, April to June 2022, 9,281 crores, July to September 2022, 9,968 crores. So revenue has been increasing over the period, maybe the growth has reduced but revenue still continues to grow well. Net profit 2,125 crores, 2,420 crores. 2596 crores and 2781 crores so even net profit growth has been quite good npa figures non performing assets october to december 2021 0.78% january to march 2022 0.68% april to june 2022 0.51% and september 2022 0.44% and the results for october to december 2022 we have to see the result will be announced on January 27, 2023. Due to the lower growth in AUM, analysts are under the impression that Bajaj Finance business has slowed down, leading to lower income and profit in the quarter. In the short term, stock prices always react to analyst expectations. In another quarter, maybe the stock price may suddenly react very positively since results are better than expectations. So sometimes it's below expectations, sometimes when it's above expectations, share price moves up very very positively. So we need to see how Bajaj Finance business performs in the coming quarters and how the shares react to it. We cannot judge any company by one quarter's performance. In fact, so many years, so many quarters Bajaj Finance has done well. So we cannot just say that Bajaj Finance is bad just because the performance is dull in this quarter. So far, the performance is good. So we need to keep monitoring the shares. We need to keep monitoring the performance of the business. And accordingly, if you think that it has good potential, then you can always take a decision to purchase the shares. We will create a separate video once the quarterly results are announced by the end of January 2023. 52-week high, 8,045. 52-week low, 5,220. Current price, 6,100. For an investor, 1 year returns minus 14%, 3 year returns 18% per annum, 5 year returns 29% per annum, 10 year returns 48% per annum. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you own Bajaj Finance shares, did you panic due to today's crash? If yes, type yes in the comment section, otherwise type no. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye and all the best.